silky beak. Welcome back to the channel. This is a video that's been requested over and over again. Um, it's actually a drift setup I did uh, a long time ago now, back when I first started doing this. Um, it's for the RX-7 in GT Sport. Now, people are asking if there's anything I've changed now that the game's been updated so many times and the physics have been changed. And yeah, there are a few things I would um, do differently now. So basically, we're just gonna take a look at that and uh, I'll give you the revised setup and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this one a little bit more. One thing I will say is that the earlier drift setups that I put out on the channel uh, was back when I was messing around with the game a little bit more. Um, and to be honest with you, I wasn't after consistency. I was just trying to throw them into corners as uh, at the most extreme angles that I could, try and get some reverse entries and things like that. So certainly this RX-7 build back then uh, was a little bit on the extreme side. Nowadays, I'm looking for something that I can get around a track consistently every single time. Um, so the changes that I've made do reflect that and it should be a lot easier to use now. So there is quite a few changes that I've made here uh, to this one. First up, the power level. Um, it's still on level five there, but I've actually dropped it slightly down to 191%, uh, which gives you 559 brake horsepower. It just seems, like I said before, a little bit more consistent at that power. Um, you're not sort of spinning out quite as frequently. Uh, weight reduction wise, I've just still left that where it was. So all the way down the bottom there, 86% on level five, which gives you 1,092 kilograms. Traction control still on zero. But again, I've changed the tyres on this. Uh, they're now comfort mediums, both front and rear. Um, brake balance remains the same at zero. Uh, ride height is 85 and 95 uh, for the front and rear there. Natural frequency is set to 1.7 on the front and 1.7 on the back. And the anti-roll bar on the rear there at five and the front at seven. The compression and rebound remain exactly the same there at 60, 60 and 90 and 90. And camber angle, a uh, big change on this. Uh, so the front is now set to three and the rear is on 1.5 and again big change on the toe as well so that it's now set out 0.3 and in on the back 0.15 um, downforce i've left the same just at zero um, the differential i can't remember if i touched it i don't think i have um, but it's 10 40 and 20 and the transmission here i've set that um, to fully customized and 162 miles an hour that's exactly where it was before now I can't remember if I've changed this, so just um, quickly take a note on these numbers because I might have changed the third gear ratio a little bit, uh, but I can't actually remember. Um, but this, as it is, is working really, really nicely and I'm finding it a lot easier to use. So as I said, it's just a short one today to give you an idea of what I've changed on the RX-7 um, now compared to what I used to use. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it as much as I am. As always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the videos grow when you do that. And I'll see you all on the next one. <laughs>